Um, how did you get your hands on this movie, Adam? I w- <laughs> Uh, this movie came to me, uh, the president of Disney called me and I'd had a, I had a real nice relationship with them because uh, I'd made another movie that did well. And um, she called me and she described the movie to me and I, my sister has just had a couple of babies. Uh, within two years, we have, she has two babies under two years old. And so I've been spending so much time with my family that I had told her that I was looking for something to do with a real family message and a family audience. And, but still comedy. And the president of Disney called me and s- described the movie, and it seemed exactly what I wanted to do. And then she told me Vin Diesel was in it, and I sort of paused because it didn't make any sense to me at all. And I was, like most of the world, scared of him. And he, uh, he, she just said, just meet him. And I said, okay. And within two days, I had met him, found out that he was just a sweet, sweet guy. And I called her and I said, sure, I'll do it. And that's how simple as that. But why did you have the impression that you, you would be scared of Vin Diesel? He's big and he's got a deep voice <laughs> and I didn't want him to hit me because <laughs> I've seen him hit a lot of people in movies and uh, you know I, I had bought into the whole Vin Diesel as action hero mythology and that's as it turns out what it is mythology. He's, uh, he's just a sweet guy who likes to have a good time and <laughs> that's what it is. What kind of direction does he take? Um, on this movie, what I, the most of the direction that I gave him was, um, you know, in the beginning I said, don't ever think of being funny. Just think of trying to keep control. As long as you're constantly trying to keep control of a situation, you will be funny because let the situations be the funny part. And so he was really grateful because it didn't mean that he was going to have to suddenly try to be like Robin Williams, you know, I mean, that wasn't, that wasn't what, the, what the charge was. So, you know, all I kept saying to everybody was act honestly, act honestly, you know, act, what would your character do, you know what I mean, really know who your characters are and behave from a truthful place from that character because that makes funny happen. You know, they say that you should not, never work with kids, animals, or who the sea. That? Who says that? <laughs> Certain directors say that. You've got all three in this movie. <laughs> You know what? I'm an idiot. What can I say? I, I, you know, I had the choice between making this movie or jumping out of an airplane, and I don't know which one was the better choice. <laughs> no, um, I still want to jump out of an airplane. No, this was, you know, I just I went for it. You know, I thought, I got to be honest with you. When I took it, it didn't even occur to me that I was going to have doing all of the don't do these things. It was only, It was not until about halfway through the movie I was like. Didn't someone once say never? <laughs> but I got to tell you, the kids were fantastic, and the duck w- couldn't be more well behaved. So he never messed up a take. So. How does one go from choreography to action action movie director? It took about five years. No, <laughs> uh, you know, I I was in the right place at the right time for for what I had been choreographing for a long time and had known everybody at all the different studios because um, I'd done so many movies for all the various people. And my sister's a producer, and she handed me a script and said, what do you think of this? And I told her, and she said, God, that's a, those are some good ideas. Will you meet with the studio? And I thought it would be a great experience because I knew they'd never hire me, but it would be interesting to try something different. And they hired me um, that day in the room. And I, w- I was as shocked as anybody, and I... Uh, I just kind of went from there. That movie it took about a year and a half to get made, but it was The Wedding Planner, which was my first movie. And then, ever since then, it's just sort of been a path. And I've worked with a lot of stunt people, so doing the action was not foreign to me. I knew how it all got done, so it was just a matter of doing it. And it's really fun. I mean, on an action day, when you're shooting big action stuff, there's a lot of sitting around, because you're set, the setting up the shots takes forever. And so, you know, if you get two or three shots off in a day of those big action things, you're doing great. So, you know, it's a, doing, oddly enough, doing action is the slowest thing you can do in a movie when you're making it, which is weird to think of. 